Okie dokie, it is Friday. I am on my way to the rink to play some open hockey. I'm expecting there to be like a pretty good amount of people there, so I'm actually on my way there. I'm probably gonna get there like 30 or 35 minutes early. It's a two hour slot, so I don't know how long I'm gonna last. Like if there's like a bunch of people and we start playing like a game, like two hours will go really fast, but if there's like nobody there and it's like me and like four other people, then I probably won't be on very long because I'll just get bored. We'll see how it goes. There's some stuff that I would like to try and do later, but I gotta like look up. Like if I wanna go, I'm thinking about maybe going like on a hike or something, um, but I have to look up where I can go to do that. Or there's this like Jeep festival in a nearby town. I don't know how far away it is, but um, that sounds kinda cool, I might go. It, I don't know what time it ends though. I feel like it might end at like three or four p.m. and this goes till one, so by the time I get back, and I'm gonna have to take my stuff out, and I wanna air it out, and I probably don't wanna leave it outside my dorm with me leaving to go to a town for a period of time that I don't know how long it's gonna be. So, I'm gonna figure that all out probably afterwards, or I'll look it all up before I get on here and uh, figure out what I wanna do. Um, Cause it's it's a really nice day, so I feel like I should, I should try and take advantage of it a bit here and get outside and do something. I hope this goes without saying, like, I'm not going to be able to take video while I'm in the locker room with random kids that I don't know. But basically the point of me saying this is I will catch up later at some point in time. Okay, I am just leaving the rink now. The skate was, eh, there were a ton of people there though, like, I don't know. I ended, I did stay the whole two hours though, so I mean, like, that was good. Just good to skate. That's pretty much the whole point of this whole thing right here, just to go skate, so. Right now, I'm going back to the dorm. I'm going to lay my stuff outside so that I don't have to air it out in my room because then my room would smell terrible. So I'm gonna lay it outside in the sun, hopefully for maybe like an hour-ish. I'm gonna eat some lunch, do some work, put it back in my bag, and then I will decide what's going on later with my life. My stuff has been out here for a little more than an hour. The sun shifted, obviously, and so now it's all sitting in the shade, but it's all dry. I mean, it wasn't that wet to begin with. So since I'm not going anywhere for a little while yet, I'm gonna leave it out here to air out, not necessarily to dry at this point, because that's not even concerning. If it could be wet and smell perfectly fine, I would leave it wet, and I wouldn't care. But it's dry, and it probably would still smell terrible, so I'm just gonna leave it out here until I leave because it's either going to be in my car and make my car smell bad, or it's gonna be in my room and make my room smell bad. So if I can leave it out longer and have it air out to the point where it just smells like nothing, that'd be amazing. But that's also impossible, so I'm not getting my hopes up for that. Okay, so I'm getting ready to go now. I am leaving. Um, I packed up my bag a few minutes ago. I decided to bring it in here because the lingering smell of like sweat and dirt Sitting in my car when it's really hot just just completely sounds terrible. So I'm gonna try it in here for a little while because like the air conditioner turns on I swear every half hour to keep the temperature where it's at. So that airflow is moving and I turn my fan, little fan on too to keep a constant airflow. So we'll see how it goes. I opened up one of these things, uh, one of these like scent things. I think it's mango, it smells amazing. And then I also placed this container of Febreze right next to the bag in case I ever need to give it a quick spurt in that area. If it ends up smelling terrible, I'll just put it in my car. But I figure I'll leave it in here for tonight. I don't know, it was outside for a while, so it doesn't smell that bad. Um, it's just like when you're really close to it, you can kind of tell that it's there. So, I'm gonna leave now. Okay, so I'm sure you're a little bit curious as to where I am going since I didn't say it. Um, I did that on purpose, just you know, keep the suspense a little bit. Um, there's this Jeep festival going on in a place called Butler. So that's like 40 minutes-ish from here, and so I'm going. So I'm driving there now, but the only problem is this is like prime time, Friday, rush hour traffic. That's where I'm at right now, just in the traffic. So I'm gonna skip over all the driving clips and things like that. I'm just gonna skip to either at the festival or walking to the festival. Should be pretty cool, I'm kind of excited. I'm not like a big Jeep person, but you know, it's probably just one of those things that's pretty neat, so I'm gonna go. So, on that note, 
I'll see you there. How you doing? Doing okay? You had a good time so far? Okay, I'm gonna put a stop to that. I said, 15 minute parking, time expired. We think that Jeep in the parking spot was there before the festival started and then was like, oh, this is convenient. And then they just left their Jeep there <laughs> just to get away with it. Nacho Jeep. So we walked up the main road where the, sh the jeeps were and then we turned around at the end and then we walked all the way back down. Just jeeps on jeeps on jeeps on jeeps. We are now at this very sad excuse for a park. There is this thing which I'm on, a slide, and then there's some swing sets back there which Sarah's on. But I would like to show you how far back I can go on this thing because it's pretty far. <laughs> if you're not getting the cables to buckle when you're swinging, you're not swinging, that's all I gotta say. Okay, my apologies for the terrible transition, but um, we were at that park for a little while, and then we went back to her house, and then her dad started talking to us for a period of time that was decently long but not too long of course by that time it was kind of getting dark and then 
I was leaving and I didn't really know where I was going, so my GPS was going off, you know, every seemingly every mile. So I just didn't do an update. So here it is. Um back at RMU now. It's like, I don't know, like ten o'clock ish. Um across the street at the giant eagle because um I ran out of cereal a couple days ago and I just have a hankering for some rice krispies. And so I want them for breakfast tomorrow, so I'm gonna get a box of rice krispies. Yeah, so I'm gonna grab that, go back to my room. Okay, so I'm back. My camera died in the middle of the sentence when I was saying this in my car, so I'm going to say it again. Sorry if this was kind of boring. I didn't really know what to expect from this festival. The pictures looked really cool, and the pictures looked actually exactly like what it was. Just one street long of just Jeeps on either side, and people just walking up and back, checking them out. If you're really into Jeeps, I'm sure it was a really cool thing. I'm not really super into them. They're just cars, so it was just something kind of cool to go do. The clips are probably really repetitive. I tried to take them while I was walking to go with the flow, the traffic of everybody walking because I didn't feel like stopping and taking like individual clips of a ton of different Jeeps because a lot of them were very similar. So it was not really worth my time to stop and try to pick out which ones were my favorite or even stop at every single one and take clips because that would have taken forever. Um, so hopefully it's not too shaky or wasn't too shaky, I guess. And yeah, I don't know. It was cool to go though. I'm glad I went. That's pretty much it for today. Um, just gonna read here and then go to bed. So that's it. So, hey, have a swell day. All right, and peace.